Rated M for Mature. Do you want to get all the good stuff in Zombie Army 4 ASAP? Here's 8 things you can do to level up super fast and get those weapons maxed out. Sometimes you want to stop and smell the roses, or at least the pools of congealed blood where the roses used to be. And sometimes you don't. Maybe your mates are all level bazillions already and you've picked up the game, or maybe you're pathologically averse to seeing a player rank without a nice fat number and a ridiculous array of regalia next to it. Whatever your peccadillo, these 8 tips will get everything unlocked quicker than a hotel room door at a speedrunners conference. If you're already subscribed, thanks for that, we love you deeply. If not, consider doing so for more like this, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our new uploads. Now, some tips. So much to unlock, where to start? Well, leveling up will give you more guns, upgrade kits, perks, and a general aura of otherworldly proneness, so that's a good place to begin. And in order to do that, you'll want to get some big combos going. The longer you go on hitting zombies without missing or before the timer between hits expires, the bigger your XP multiplier will get. It's central to unlocking stuff, so let's focus on it. Firstly, target Combo King, Combo Boost, and Combo Extension shown here. While having all three enabled at once is probably overkill for general play, if you're trying to max out your level, gear, and access to all bits of the game, hey, why not? Secondly, you can provide a bit more wood for the combo fire by setting the game up for 3 or 4 players in this menu. This increases the head count in the upcoming missions, so there'll always be another undead head to scope in on, and that means longer combos. Obviously, what that also means is the game becomes loads more vicious, because unless you actually are playing with 3 other players, you're going to be working hard to get everyone shot and nowhere near your delicious flesh. You can counteract this increased challenge by lowering the game difficulty down to easy. This doesn't affect your score, your combo meter, or how quickly you level up, so no worries there. It just means enemies do less damage and you do more. Target down. Now you've made some combos easier using perks and difficulty settings, the easiest way to actually start building them is in Horde mode. Here there's none of that pesky story and pacing the team at Rebellion spent many hours lovingly crafting, just wave after wave of combo fodder. That's right, come here, make those numbers go up, yes. The first few waves aren't going to light up any world record combo multipliers, but from wave 3 onwards you can get some serious numbers, and once you've survived past certain markers, you can begin a horde map from that wave again, which means less waiting around for a screen full of heads to emerge. So far we've been thinking about leveling up your profile, which is great because it unlocks a lot of perks, but it also bestows upgrade kits on you every 5 levels, and these make your guns more powerful and give them more capacity. Primaries also gain elemental damage like electrical or flame, so you know, worth doing. They are absolute game changers frankly, and if you want to get through this tree for more than a few of them, you'll need lots of kits. Aside from leveling, you can also just pick up upgrade kits through the levels, there are 35 in total across the campaign so that's free per level within a chapter. Check out our other videos on the channel for full collectible guides and chapter walkthroughs where you can spy all the upgrade kits. You might have noticed something about those weapon upgrade trees just now. Some of the upgrades are tied to specific achievements you need to get using that weapon. There's no shortcut to doing this, but our advice is to make a note of the weapon mastery achievements you're actually going for, just as you would with a perk, then find an area where you can farm it. For numbers based ones like headshots, horde mode set to 4 players is still your friend. When you complete all these achievements, you'll get this weapon mastery icon next to your firearm on the menu, a fully upgradable tree and much improved stats for that gun. Even secondaries you might not have liked at first can become formidable zombie lawnmowers when you put the time and upgrades into them, so this is worth putting some time into. Another way to get upgrade kits is by completing the sticker challenges, which you can find here. They're challenging but doable objectives, and when you complete all the stickers in a set, the kit's yours to pour into your weapon and make it even better. Often you'll find yourself unlocking the first sticker of a set by chance, so when you see the pop-up on the HUD, head into the stickers menu and see what else needs to be done before the game coughs up that tasty kit.
Ah, the humble Z challenge. Tucked away in the level section menu, daring you to strive for more than simple mission completion. Goading you even. You didn't hear this from me, but I've heard it's even been saying stuff about you behind your back. But don't let that get under your skin because Z challenges are beatable. And they yield yet more upgrade kits and XP when you nail them. You can even track them on your HUD by selecting them from the pause menu when you're in a mission, making it easier to stay on track. Plus, I mean, that golden Z looks great, doesn't it? It. Can you really say you've unlocked everything when some of these are still yet to pop? When all else fails, there's always this little failsafe to get you mountains of XP and the accompanying unlocks that come with it. Head to the final chapter of Death Canal known as the Gates of Hell, where right at the start you'll find yourself in a set piece with a handy heavy MG and a seemingly limitless supply of zombies. I say seemingly under advisement because for all intents and purposes, the well never runs dry here, provided you let the zombies destroy the generator. You can keep shooting and shooting the zombies and new ones just keep appearing. Perfect for a combo of insane proportions then. Being a steady hand, you can achieve a maximum combo here. That's a times 666 multiplier, because of course it is. Just don't miss more than once in a row and don't be tempted to go for only headshots because you'll increase your chances of missing more than once and losing your precious score. We should note that there are other areas in the campaign where this 666 combo trick can take place, but the opening of the Gates of Hell is the best one for starters. Thank you! So there's our 8 tips to helping you be all you can be in Zombie Army 4. Which weapon do you enjoy maxing out the most? Which upgrade kit was the most challenging for you to find? And have you completed your sticker collection yet? Leave us a like if you enjoyed our nuggets of wisdom and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the fun here at Rebellion. Until next time, happy leveling!